Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Vision 2030. Today we are talking about the importance of education in the development of our community and we have had wonderful examples of, uh, from our guest where they've shared their successes in terms of achieving their educational excel excellence. We also talked about the uh, importance of supporting children uh, in, uh, in their educational development uh, so far. So uh, now we will be talking about uh, adult education because it's not just the children education that we need to focus on but we also need to focus on educating our adults within our community because as we all know illiteracy is a social evil and an illiterate person finds it very difficult to cope with various aspects of uh, their lives uh, that involves reading writing and so forth so it is very important that all uh, uh, members of our community are also educated in some way or uh, another it's not we talk talked about it earlier, it's not just about having a formal education. Education can be various forms. It can be vocational, it, it can be through uh, the formal academia. So I want to ask um, um, Councillor uh, Kabir, uh, in terms of um, education, how uh, important is it to educate the adults in our community or should the adults in, uh, feel that, look, you know, it's not our time anymore, we'll leave the education to our children and let us focus on just income for the family. So what, what's your view on that? Uh, education is, is a lifelong activity. Mm -hmm. It starts from the, the day you're born almost mm -hmm. because you're being influenced by external factors okay. to the day you die as long as your mind is open. So for education of adults, it's, it is absolutely essential. Mm -hmm. The very basic thing is to enhance one's self-confidence, mm -hmm. to uh, increase one's contribution to society, mm -hmm. because a contribution is not always money. Mm -hmm. There are other contributions. You can work as a volunteer, mm -hmm. but you couldn't work as a volunteer as effectively if you were less educated than if you were more educated. Okay. I think for many people who are less educated and who are older, it is really, really essential to learn about um, how to use the internet mm -hmm. because it opens up a whole world of, of, of news and, uh, and information. Yeah. And also in our daily lives, increasingly, mm -hmm. and as a councillor I see this, increasingly, for instance, Brent Council expects its residents mm -hmm. To, um, to share information over the internet. Mm -hmm. So whether it's paying your council tax bill or getting a reduction in, 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 in your bill or applying for benefits, you're expected to do it online. So the basics of, of, of being able to work online is, is essential for everyone. Mm -hmm. And nobody is too old to learn. Too old to learn. As I said earlier, I'm 68. If I can do it, anyone can do it. Brilliant, it's a very good point. I think we have a caller on the line. Uh, hello caller, uh, what is your name and where are you calling from? Hello, Assalamu alaikum. My name is uh, Shahida Rahman. I'm calling from Cambridge, and I'd just like to mention Dr. Karim is my brother, and I just wanted to okay. just uh, raise a, a comment, if that's okay. Yeah, yeah, carry on. Okay, I just wanted to say um, the older generation in Bangladeshi families had clear cut roles for men and women. Mm -hmm. So generally, these uh, generations accepted men to be the breadwinners, okay. uh, and whilst they, while the uh, women were expected to stay at home and look after the family. Mm -hmm. Now, I know we talk about that uh, Bangladeshi women have the lowest level of participation in the former in, sorry, in the formal labor market, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, but I think the reason being is when Bangladeshi actually uh, women are married, uh, they have to juggle between household tasks mm -hmm. and work life, and I think that be that can be quite difficult. Um, so that could be one of the factors why Bangladeshi women have the lowest level of participation in the okay. labour market. And I just wanted to just really say that, you know, uh, can I ask the panel, I mean, what, what do they think about it? I mean, we need to empower women to come forward, but I think the men also have to support that because yeah. some women aren't able to do that on their own. And I just wanted the panel to uh, just ask them what they actually thought about that. Okay, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll ask the panel in a bit. I think, uh, thank you very much there for your call. It's a very important point that uh, you have made. Uh, we have another caller on the line. Uh, hello, caller, what's your name and where are you calling from, please? Assalamu alaikum. I'm to Bangla. I'm from Shumon. I'm from Milton Keynes. Yes, yes, Paulin. I'm very proud of you, the program. Professor Shaib, Karim Shaib, and Councillor 
কবির এবং প্রিন্স সাদেক চৌধুরী ওনা যে বিষয়গুলো এমফাসাইজ করেছেন ছেলে চাইল্ড এডুকেশনের উপরে ছেলে মেয়েদের শিক্ষার জন্য বাবা মাদের অবদান খুবই ইম্পর্টেন্ট এবং তিনজনই এমফাসাইজ করেছেন আমি পার্টিকুলার একটু শেয়ার করতে চাচ্ছি আপনাদের সাথে হ্যাঁ আমি ডিস অ্যাডভান্টেজেস ফ্যামিলি থেকে এসেছি আমার বাবা মার মধ্যে আমার আম্মা আমাকে ইন্সপায়ার করেছেন এবং এখন আমি নিজেও চেষ্টা করছি এই অ্যাডাল্ট এইজে এডুকেশন নেওয়ার জন্য আমি সিভিল ইঞ্জিনিয়ারিং স্টাডি করছি নন্দ্র ইউনিভার্সিটিতে আমার কোশ্চেন হচ্ছে আজকে পিন সাদেক চৌধুরীর কাছে আমি জানি না উনি ডিস অ্যাডভান্টেজেস ফ্যামিলি কিংবা কোনো ধরনের ওনার প্রতিবন্ধকতা ছিল কিনা চাইল্ড এইজে যদি ওনার থেকে থাকে যদি কোনো বিষয় উনি শিখে থাকে এবং এই এইজে অ্যাডাল্ট এইজে উনি কি ধরনের ইন্সপায়ারেশন অনুপ্রেরণা ওনাকে এখন সেই ভুলকে কারেকশন করার জন্য ইম্পর্টেন্টেন্টেন্টেন্টেন্টেন্টেন্টেন্টেন্টেন্টেন্টেন্টেন্টেন্টেন্টেন্টেন্টেন্টেন্টেন্টেন্টেন্টেন্ট
Yes, he has done the adult education. He's doing the master in the law. Mm-hmm. We are we are from the Northampton community, really proud for him. And I would like to tell him about his recent uh, mind situation, how he's feeling, feeling himself as he has done uh, uh, graduation from the law and he's, he's intending to do complete the master at the moment. So mm-hmm. I request him to say a few things about, about his feelings to encourage the adult people, those who are living within our society, to get the higher education uh, in that sort of age uh, that they have to produce themselves, that they can do something if they want to. If they have the ambition, mm-hmm. they can carry out the education. It, 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 the age is not the barrier for the people. So as he has done and he is doing the completion master degree from the law, mm-hmm. I believe we are, we are feeling proud for him and our children and he will, our children follow him, and he will be the model mm-hmm. of the community. So if he says few things, mm-hmm. point out, if he says that what he has to encourage for the adult people, I believe the community will be very much, uh, uh, very much uh, highly uh, take his point uh, uh, regarding the okay. higher education. Thank you. In thank, you. Thank, thank you very much for your call, and we'll certainly be asking that uh, to Prince um, I think we've got another caller. Hello, caller. Can I have your name and where you're calling from, please? Um, hello. Hello, yes. Uh, can I have your name and where you're calling from, please? Um, yes, my name is um, uh, Amirun. Mm-hmm. And I'm calling from Coventry. Yeah, hello, Amirun. Yeah, welcome to the show. Uh, thank you. And uh, I would like to firstly share a quote. And the quote is, um, educate uh, a man and you educate an individual and educate a woman, and you educate a family. Mm-hmm. Now, the reason why I share this is because I would like... Um, there's three members of the panel who are male, and there's one female member. Mm-hmm. Now, I'd like to um, um, firstly uh, suggest that the men um, provide some sort of encouragement mm-hmm. for us women out there mm-hmm. that um, feel that we are somewhat... Um, neglected mm-hmm. in terms of attainment mm-hmm. and um, you know if, if and the opportunity for any woman in a household comes from um, you know the, the actual household the leader of the household which is so what male. opportunity would you like to see happening um, uh, or taking place in, in, in the households can you give us an example of any opportunities um, in terms of um, uh, education, mm-hmm. I mean, like um, uh, our um, uh, distinguished guest, Mr. Prince, mm-hmm. I mean, while he was um, in education, who took care of his family? Mm-hmm. I mean, did his wife uh, be responsible for, um, you know, the, the daily tasks of his household? Yeah, okay. So there is a lot that women do behind the scenes. Okay, so in terms of maybe providing don't that... don't get recognised okay. for. Okay. Well, thank you very much for your call, and it's a very important uh, point that you have made. Uh, and I think what you, what you were talking about, uh, in the sense that you know, it's, it's a shared responsibility. Can I can I comment? Yeah, on of that course. Directly? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I agree with that comment wholeheartedly. I think we all do. I think men do need to change. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's. I mean, for years we've talked about how um, women go into education, they get a degree, they get married, and they don't use their knowledge at all whatsoever, which mm-hmm. I think is ridiculous, and I think it's horrendous that that actually happens. But it's true that the men do need to change. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of things in relation to gender equality. I know okay. that we could probably have an entire program about mm-hmm. gender equality. But we have He for She programs, we have United Nation program at University of Leicester mm-hmm. about gender equality, empowering women, and all those kind of things. And I think that's absolutely important. Um, I'm interested in application of knowledge. Mm-hmm. And gender equality is really important. So once you've gained that knowledge, you have to be able to use it. Mm -hmm. There's no point in just having that education just for the sake of having a piece of paper that says you've got a degree. So I I, I agree with wholeheartedly. I'm championing what she's saying as well, which is really important. And I think we'd all all agree with that. And I think when we spoke with uh, Brother Prince before, that he explained that he has this family dynamic where Mm -hmm. he can do his education Mm -hmm. as well as support the family because of the relationship that he has with his wife. So, so I think he's, a, he's yeah. a good example where you can do that, but it's absolutely right mm-hmm. that if the, if the man is now going out to become educated, mm-hmm. well, essentially the woman has two jobs. She's, mm-hmm. she's studying mm-hmm. as well as raising a family. family yeah. So, you know, two jobs, that's absolutely amazing. Mm-hmm. And we need to find a way of navigating that to give them the opportunity. 
<laughs> and like you mentioned, mm -hmm. you empower the men and the women together. That, mm -hmm. That's better for everybody. It's better mm -hmm. for the family. It's better mm -hmm. for the children. Mm -hmm. And we have to make sure that we champion that wherever we can. Brilliant. And I, I just wanted to focus a little bit on the opportunities. You know, we talk about you know that you know we need to go out and get educated and so forth. Uh, but in terms of if you look at, at the reality, what are the opportunities uh, available for adults in our community to take up education, and what can be done to improve their uh, opportunities to our adults? Does that make sense? Well, I think literacy and numeracy is really important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. there, there, there are classes, out of the evening classes, that okay. are one or two hours in the evening mm -hmm. where you can um, marry that with, okay. with, with the family dynamic of mm -hmm. support of the children and what have you. I mean, I think that's absolutely essential. Uh, you mentioned about the internet. Uh, we probably don't need to go into that, but you mm -hmm. do need to be mm -hmm. completely literate on how to use the internet. But <laughs> I think having literacy and numeracy is, is absolutely essential and as you mentioned in some of the statistics I think that's really sadly quite lacking isn't it? Yeah I think I've read in I've mentioned earlier I've read in one of the st statistics I think it was the case report that only 10.1 percent of the Bangladeshi yeah. families have access that's to internet shocking. that is a shocking isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, Councillor Kabir, I mean, I want to um, get your, um, I mean, you work with the council, you're a councillor. What uh, opportunities our local authorities are providing for adult education? Yeah, I wanted to come on that, actually. Yes? Okay. Um, local authorities do provide adult education, mm -hmm. um, and they provide the education. It could be in um, uh, uh, English, it could be in uh, uh, using how to use the internet. Mm -hmm. Uh, it could be any number of subjects. Each each council is actually quite different. Okay. In addition to the council, there is the voluntary sector mm -hmm. and community organisations who provide uh, both informal and formal education. Mm -hmm. So I think what we need to do is is for people to have access to the information of where they can go for higher education. Okay. And education in its many forms, mm -hmm. whether it's mm -hmm. informal or formal, technical or academic, what, whatever it, uh, it may be. But on that subject also, I would like to say, women have to support women also. Okay. So for instance, in, in many households, and uh, I lived my entire la life till quite recently, living in a joint household. Mm -hmm. I have never lived in a single unit family ever, even okay. now I don't. Okay. So there are other women who are in the family, like it could be your mother-in-law, it could be your mother, it could be your sister, it could mm -hmm. be your sister-in-law, could be your whoever. I think women have to support other women mm -hmm. to aspire for higher achievement, be yeah. it in education or any, anything else. And this is, this is where the mentoring comes, the coaching comes, mm -hmm. the moral support, or offering to take care of the children while the woman goes out and, mm -hmm. uh, as you said, maybe an evening class. So take care of the children while the woman goes out for her uh, to, to learn English or whatever it may be. So mm -hmm. the woman-to-woman -woman support, I think, is also important and should not be forgotten. It's, a, it's an excellent point uh, I think you've made. Uh, <coughs> and, and if that support mechanism there, that will be the first... Um, uh, encouragement uh, yes. that they can have access yeah. to and that can boost their confidence uh, yeah. as well. Yeah. Uh, Prince, I think one of the yeah. colleagues mentioned about <laughs> um, uh, your um, achievements yeah. and what you you know, have to say to other people in the community yeah. who are looking into going into uh, further education. Yes, so all I can say actually, uh, education is a life learning edu mm -hmm. um, education. There's no age barrier. Mm -hmm. Your age shouldn't be pre-created to achieve what you want to achieve in a life. Mm -hmm. I think everyone should take opportunity of free education which is provided by the land where we are living actually. Mm -hmm. There's uh, so many access courses available in school, college mm -hmm. or university. Especially in the college I'm sure there is a course available in the morning, afternoon, in the evening, whatever mm -hmm. the time is suits you. Try to take the advantage of that because that will help you. Trust me, I try that mm -hmm. and I want to I, and I can see the fruit and I want people to do that honestly because what you are actually you never can make a change only way you can make change through the education mm -hmm. because that is something is, is the most powerful tool you can have brilliant and it, it can start from mm -hmm. small it doesn't mm -hmm. have to be you don't have to just say yeah. look I'm gonna go, go can, for I, can I also come yeah. to the sisters you mentioned about uh, the women's education I think this is equally it's very important we need to support mm -hmm. the women to empower them as I mentioned to you before, that my only member of my family who's got a high achievement in a, a GCSE is my niece. Mm -hmm. She's got 12 GCSE, most of the A and A stars, you know, mm -hmm. which is um, absolutely re remarkable and uh, phenomenal. Nobody had this grade before. 
And I must say also the, look, uh, the, the recent statistics show the women are achieving more than uh, male in Bangladeshi community. Mm -hmm. And you can see that the wonder of that actually, we have uh, three beautiful ladies in the, par in, in the House of Parliament. We have uh, a Baroness Balaudin in the House of Lords. You know, I mean, so mm -hmm. in, in the terms of men's and women's uh, comparison, I think women are achieving better than the men's at mm -hmm. the moment. Given the opportunity. Yeah, given would, the opportunity. You know, yes. If there was a competition, I think yes. you know, women will do much better. And we better. have a councillor here. And, you can and, see, and, you know, and, she's the weakest. I just want to make one comment. Um, <laughs> because uh, the sister who phoned up as well. Yeah. That's all well and good, but it needs to be sustained. Mm -hmm. yes. Because we do know that women get to a particular level, degree, PhD, yeah. mm -hmm. they don't become heads of department, they don't mm -hmm. become maybe vice chancellors yes. of university yeah. or go into the higher echelons of society. There are bottlenecks. So you really have to have that continuity from a very early start because mm -hmm. they do have those bottlenecks. And it's identifying what those are yes. and trying to mm -hmm. eliminate them. I don't say mm -hmm. I've got all the answers for that. But clearly that's something that we really mm. do need to address, mm. not mm. just within the Bangladeshi community, but I think mm. in the Generally. wider community mm. as a whole in terms of sort of gender mm. equality, equal mm. pay and all the other mm. recent things that have been mm. going on in the news. Mm. Brilliant. And uh, it's been really interesting talking to you uh, and hearing from your personal experience and also the advice that you have given us uh, and the community through this channel. So uh, the important thing for us to bear in mind is about you know working together within yeah. the family, you know, husband and wife, they need to support each, uh, each other. Uh, if they have an educational goal, um, yeah. they have to look at other support mechanisms, look at some role models, get some good examples. But also importantly, you know, work with your local authorities. You know, there are lot, lots of uh, courses available uh, within your local communities and in yeah. the area. You know, talk to your local council, ask them if there's any local opportunity, even if it's a small opportunity mm -hmm. like uh, going mm -hmm. to an IT course or something mm -hmm. like that. Do take up uh, those uh, opportunities that are available to you. We are very fortunate that uh, we live in, uh, in a country where education is, is freely available to us. So um, so thank you very much, our guest, uh, for thank sharing you. your, uh, you. your your experience and also your successes, which I'm sure has been extremely useful uh, to our community. And uh, please to uh, take some of the advice that our um, distinguished guests have uh, given us. So with, uh, with that in mind, um, all the best uh, to you in your uh, respective careers and to the community until we see you again next week. Goodbye.